how do you do? Let's have another go at it. See if my luck's changed any, shall we? You never know. Left, 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 right, left. <sighs> nice bit of exercise. <laughs> Haven't found anything yet. Do, 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 do. Let's keep going. Don't do beer barrels. Did you know if you get caught with a beer barrel that you're not meant to have, £10,000 of fine per barrel. Don't want that, do you? Well, I've been down to get my car <coughs> booked into the garage. A different garage, but oh, what a palaver. Anyway, but this is the old railway bridge I'm going under. Look at this. And this old bridge here is still carrying mainline rail trains. And I bet it's 100 year old. Look at that, beautiful rivets. Oh, beautiful rivet construction. Amazing. That's when they knew how to make things in them days. Well, I'm still walking, and this is my first find of the day. One poxy pair of headphones. Not worth a carrot, really, but I ain't found nothing else. Here we go. Another day. Another broken coil spring. Well, I've just been past my mate's place. He does scrapping. Load of old podge spanners and that. Just right for my old steam engine, so that's a result. I even had to borrow his trolley to wheel him home. Oh. Well, needless to say, none of this is getting scrapped. Proper old Whitworth spanners and stuff. So, result, and I've got a bit of old, a couple of old rads in the garage, so I'm going to trade him. Here we go again. Oh. So this lot goes down to my mates in exchange for all them nice old spanners. Fair exchange is no robbery. But it ain't often you see this. Rolls Royce for scrap on the back of a recovery truck. There you go. Scrap roller. Well, another day, another walk. A bit better this time, look. That was a microwave. That was a electric fire. And the other one's a dishwasher. Oh, one will wait, but it is a lead one. And guess what? Yet another broken coil spring. I don't know if I'm just noticing them more or what, but yeah. So there you go, that's a little bit better. And I didn't go far, I've only been out 10 minutes. So hopefully things are looking up. Yeah, these are all old oil lamps, but I collect oil lamps, but these are all old I mean look, bent, dented, beat to death, you can never straighten them out. Waste of time, I might take the handle off of there for spares, they've been robbed out already, so. And what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a flattening session. I'm gonna get the wamper out and flatten all them. I mean, that one there's not bad. So it's not a rare Hinks or anything nice like that, but it's got a bloody great dent in the bottom. Look, you never get that dent out. Well, you could take the bottom out, the steel bottom. They got a sandbag in the bottom for weight. Take it all to bits, hammer the dent out, solder it all back together. Just ain't worth it. I'll keep the 
I'll keep the burner off the top of that one for spares, but other than that, the rest of that is just all bloody scrap. That one's been robbed out. Might take, I'll probably take the knurled winder handle off the end. Other than that, scrap. So we're going to do some flattening. I mean, norm normally I wouldn't scrap stuff like this, but I've had all the good spare parts. I mean, these are all just junk. They're all bent and dented. All the good bits have been taken off, so let's have some fun. Relief. <coughs> now it'll fit, it'll fit in the bag a lot better, won't it? That's what you call proper armor action. Done for. See this, these are the cheapy ones, later cheapy ones. They've got a steel plate or sometimes a brass one on the bottom. But there'll be a load of sand in there. Or bloody graphite -y type stuff. For the weight. <coughs> Boom. There you go. So I'll tip it over here out of the way. <coughs> and you got your steel plate on the bottom look. There you go. There's a lump of it. Junk. That's now clean brass. A bit of old steel. <coughs> I'm sorry that hurt your ears, but uh, yeah, that's a good job job. Well, there's the end result. And there's a re reasonable bit of weight in that. I ain't got my scales here to weigh it up, but that saves a lot of room in your in your brass box or bag, whatever you use. So, there, job done. But no good oil lamps were harmed in the making of this video. They're all scrappers, all got defects and leaks or something wrong with them. So don't think I'm brutalising antiques because that's not what I do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did.